Right, so as you see on the title, I am getting back with Super Base, and I also deliver some news to you as well. You probably should not be using ORM with Super Base, okay? And I did that, and then it's my experience is really bad. So let me show you why it's bad. And but first, let me tell you why I break up with Super Base. Just a summary from my previous video. So the first why I break up with Super Base, and if, because of the Super Base client is lack of transactions. And if you want to do transaction, you have to write an RPC. And then, so what an RPC look like, it's just like this. You create a remote uh, procedure, like a database function, and all of the code right here is in SQL. So the developer experience, you have to write, you have to read uh, SQL code and in the SQL files. And so the uh, so you need a developer who knows SQL and feel comfortable uh, writing this one. And But if you look at this code, it's not that actually that bad, right? If we have if L, we have, uh, you know, variable, but this is simple code. It could be, uh, you know, this could be like more complex than this when you join multiple query and things like that. And so that the developer experience is really bad. So my team and I is like, you know, so we, we kind of like, okay, we decide that we prioritize developer experience. So we wanted to write some, write job, like JavaScript codes. It's probably better, right? So that's why we open to use an ORM, for example, Trizzle. And plus Trizzle is support transactions like when you are on a code, when you write a code. And then, so the developer experience is also much better as well. Um, so you read and write code in the JavaScript or like your language, like Python, I'm not sure like this one, in the JavaScript or TypeScript file. So this is like your JavaScript code. So for example, it looks something like this, right? You insert into three table, you read something like this. If any error, you throw an error, then all embedded with your in within your UI right here. So, and then if you manage this code, if you wanted to develop the code, it it could be faster, like, you know, it, you, you read from the code, not read from the SQL, which is great. But right now, after doing with Trizzle for a while, I, Trizzle is, is, is slow for, not Trizzle itself, but the way that if we do that with Superbase, it's better, you know, it's slow. The it transactions on the, we do transaction is slow, not tr doing Trizzle, but transactions like, you know, on the Next.js or when the call from the Next.js is slow compared to the an RPC. So I also, uh, so here's like my uh, demo. So maybe I need to do refresh on this, like, you know, hard refresh on this one. And so I create a demo to insert using Trizzle, insert using Superbase RPC to see the performance, to see the uh, latency and how fast it is become and compare the performance. So the performance of this one, so first let's take a look at the codes, what I'm trying to do. So this is the code that I test. I insert into three table using Trizzle. And so this one, so first it check if you are an admin or not. So if you are not an admin, you cannot perform this action. And if you are an admin, you perform this three insert right here. And you might uh, go in the comment right now, based on this, look at this code. This code is horrible. This is not good. If you do this insert, you should do like a promise all and do in one query. But wait, uh, so right now, leave it me, pretend that this line of code is do sequence, okay? The second input is depend on the first one. You need to you need to work it like this. And so is there any option like we write in this? This is like probably I think the best, uh, that this is like the best that I can do the, in terms of performance. I'm not sure like if you have a way to update this code, uh, please uh, uh, drop it down in the comment or link to a GitHub repo as well that can be improved this one. But make, but right now we pretend that all of this insert is depend on the on each other, okay? And that, that that's it. So it's it insert into three table. And if you look at the the RPC right here, it's also doing the same things and we can sit on two three table as well, okay? Right now, this is uh, the test right here is insert into the remote database, all right? So I have the remote database right here. This is like, I test a lot of record, what's happening right here, like 3093 record already. So right now let's do the test. This is, first of all, this is on local. And let's see the performance on the local. So on local, when I click on insert on Trizzle, so it takes 300 milliseconds, which is, it's okay, right? It, it's fine. It's it's not, that, it's not slow. This is, like, this is very good. And just to make sure that this is updating, as you can see right now, it's updated to 94 records. So which means it's insert. So, and then right now let's call to Superbase RPC. 
eight, 600 millisecond. Well, well, uh, this is slower. And then let's call it, uh, insert again. And then this is 100 millisecond. Wait, this is faster. The thing like this two right here is called to the same, uh, to Superbase RPC in the same uh, API. But the first one is called from the UI. This one is called from the UI as well, but in the server action. So if you look at the code right here, I have insert with the, you know, Superbase RPC, but through the server action. So if you look at this one, uh, this one right here, so basically, I just call the RPC insert through table, but this one in a server action because let's say for example you have to run this function in the you know in the server that you access like the you know env file that you probably don't want it to run in the look uh, on the client, and another function which is this one right here. This is called from the UI as you can see. I call this one directly from the UI, and as you can see, this is the use client. All right. So right now, as you can see, uh, you 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 say that hey, you said result is slow, but this is not slow. It looks like this is uh, the this one is, is slower than Trizol. Let it refresh and call it again. Three millisecond, which is great. One hundred millisecond right now. Wow, this is one hundred millisecond. This is better, right? And still, uh, three hundred millisecond is not that bad. But this is on local, right? So right now, let's move to the remote that I deploy the Superbase. So first of all, let's not care on how on where that I deploy on Superbase uh, on my Next.js right here. So my Superbase right now is in in South Asian, probably Next.js, and my Superbase is in the different regions. And right now, let's see the difference uh, between the insert right here. And just to make sure that this call is actually called to the database, I'm not faking anything. So right now we have a 900 record. Let's click to go to Trizol. And right now it, it's doing the it's doing the things right now. Just wait, as you can see, it took oh, three seconds. And just come back and see here, you can see it's update to 100 seconds. It's insert into here. So it took three three seconds. Let's call to with Superbase, 400 milliseconds. Let's call Superbase again, uh, RPC again, but in server action, this took one, one second, okay? Which is okay. Right now, let's recall this one again. Uh, this is loading. Uh, right now, it changed to two seconds. Let's call this one again, 100 milliseconds. Let's call this one again, three, seven, uh, 100 milliseconds. As you can see, doing this one is really not really good. You know, it took two seconds to complete. Is it like, is it okay or not? I, I don't know. It's like this, there's another option that, you know, take only 100 milliseconds. So compared to, you know, two seconds, two thousands milliseconds, there's like probably like, 2000 percentage different like uh performance difference let's do let's try to do it again let's click on here on average on this insert right here took two seconds and this one on average i probably like if you keep doing this it's like two millisecond 100 milliseconds and this one is right here so that's so after seeing this result you know what is like what is your priority right here like the ux or the dx uh, in my opinion, like for me, if I build an app, I prioritize user experience uh, compared to the developer experience. Because let's say uh, if you build an MVP for the user, you build an MVP, right? You build a, a product that you want to share to the user and want them to use. So you want them to use the fast product so they feel uh, really fast about a product, not only the feature that was a really good feature. First of all, you have to deliver. When you build a project, the, the project should be solve some problem it's good but it should be fast as well because that's why the, the first impression is really good for the user this is my opinion okay so that's why user experience is better you need to come you need to prioritize that do build the map that the user use and feel fast but and but the act but, but overall like do you think like it's okay to do this or it's okay to do this uh, i don't know it's just leave your comment below is this just your opinion about my opinion I would prefer this one. And so that's why I'm getting back with, uh, you know, Superbase and I'm going to, you know, work on the, probably like, you know, writing the, this one is fine as well. I think the reason it's fine for me is one, I've been writing this for almost two years. And if like, you know, looking at this code is, it's just writing, it's, it's feel like a, a normal like code. It, it doesn't differentiate for me between JavaScript or anything. If you look here, we have like if L, 
and also we have like a variable to store as well but it's not well there's some learning curve on this one as well and yeah uh, i think maybe one last thing is i think one of the reason that i might think when we use with drizzle uh, this one is, is slower it's just my speculation i'm not entirely sure i think one thing is like probably in a server action that might do uh, the it's cost of slowness as well uh, we, we compare this one we call to the same api but one in the server action one is not and so first the slowness could come from the server actions um that is what i think i confirm on, i can i think we, we can confirm on this one right by the example here as you can see uh, and so i think one thing uh, from the server action so and another thing is that I, there might be multiple round trip each a more multiple round trip when you use it with Trizzle because if you look at the code right here with when we do with Trizzle, we insert we need to query this one times and then we have to do this one like at least three times. I'm not sure like it is in a single request or not. I hope it is. But at least let's say for example, maybe like in the min uh, bare minimums with Trizzle, uh, with this code right here, it do um two two round trips, right? You do two round trip ones, come back, and you go back and then come back. And if this one is in the location, the location is different, and this one is location different. So you see the latency and the slowness of the response from here, back and forth right here. So this is not good. Um, compared to Superbase, uh, you, when we do with run run at RPC instead, so you call, you use the Superbase client, and then you call to the database, and the database just return. And all of the logic, all the code right here is inside the database. And so that's, that is like, uh, it's, it's, that's why it's faster. There's only one round, there's one round trips, one request to on the database. And so that's, that's my assumption. This is maybe I'm wrong, uh, or I don't know. So let me know in the comments and, uh, and, uh, and also the trivial code right here. I did try my best, try to search and try to optimize maybe like this one, make this code better. I don't know, like, let me know, like, if there's anything, like, to make it better than this, than this code. Well, it's neat sequence, okay? This is, like, maybe I should comment on this one, like, the example of a sequence, sequence insert, sequential insert, okay? But this code is actually can wrap in one call only. Yeah, uh, I think that's it. So, to sum up, I mean, just to summary as well, when you use with Superbase, I would recommend to go with Superbase clients, uh, to go with Superbase clients all the way, like, you know, all in on this one, you know, all, when you go with Superbase, you all in, all in, in here for, you know, for, you know, better performance, better, better performance, uh, performance and also consistency as well, consistency. So maybe I spell it right, uh, hopefully. Uh, okay, so this one, so you don't have to manage two different clients and then, so that's uh, my thinking. So there's no right or wrong way here. That's just my opinions. Uh, I'm, I'm back with Superbase and this is the way that I would prioritize the user experience over the developer experience. But my, my, but my experience here is, is fine. I, I like this one. I write this one two years already, uh, for almost two years. Yeah, and so I'm fine with this one. But in the next video, I will try to show you what is the best way and the easiest way to work with the teams, you know, when doing this one, because right now it's, if you do this one, it's not gonna be really good doing work with the team. So how would we, how should we, you know, improve the developer experience while going all in on so base client, like using RPC and things like that. And so that will be a uh, next video that I will do the research and try what will be the best way if you work with two people or more people. Yeah, um, that's, that's it. But mostly I work with solo. That's why it's, I don't really care. So <laughs> yeah, I think that's, that's all that I wanted to say. So, um, just let me know in the comment. Do you feel, uh, do you, do you have any, like, you know, slowness or you see the difference or not, or or anything just let me know or am i wrong i could be wrong in here just let me know as well and yeah thank you for watching happy coding and bye bye <laughs>